time for your morning rush. All the top stories you need to know before you start your day. First, Richland County deputies and Columbia police are looking for at least six more suspects. They say were involved in the riots in Columbia at the end of May. And the suspects were caught on surveillance cameras committing a number of crimes, including assault and vandalism. If you recognize any of these suspects or if you have any information that could help investigators, call Crime Stoppers at one crime sc So far, 83 people have been arrested in connection with those riots. Well, also in your top stories this morning, Lexington County deputies say they seized about $30,000 worth of drugs and a number of homemade bombs from a home in Gilbert. It happened during a search of a home on Sampson Road last week. Deputies say they found a number of drugs, three guns and five homemade explosive devices. Two brothers, William and Tristan Taylor, now face multiple charges in connection with the case. And in Newberry County, deputies are searching for a suspect who they say shot multiple people in the city of Greenwood. And according to Newberry County Sheriff Lee Foster, investigators were searching overnight near the intersection of SC Highway 34 and 39 in the town of Chapels. That's where they say two suspects ran away after leading deputies on a pursuit through Greenwood County and into Newberry County. The deputies say one of the suspects was arrested. He had been captured as of 2 o'clock this morning, but the other suspect is at large. They say that suspect should be considered armed and dangerous. We will, of course, keep you updated on any new developments as they come in in this case. The coronavirus has now claimed more than half a million lives worldwide with more than 126,000 deaths here in the U.S. alone. Authorities say the virus is again spreading rapidly, particularly in southern and western states. The last four days have seen the largest increases in cases since the start of the pandemic. Here in South Carolina, we are also seeing a surge in positive cases of the virus. Yesterday, DHEC reported more than 1,300 new cases and four new deaths. Since testing started back in March, the state has now seen more than 34,000 cases of COVID-19. And as the number of cases here in our state continues to go up, another city is considering making masks mandatory for their residents. The Orangeburg City Council said they will be meeting today to talk about several big issues, including a face mask requirement. They are also expected to discuss the possible removal of a Confederate statue at the courthouse, renaming John C. Calhoun Drive in Orangeburg, and putting a ban to police chokeholds. We will, of course, bring you all the latest updates from that meeting, both on air and online at WLTX.com.